Five days of sunshine in three weeks, and then we're to Dubai, 38 degrees for five days. That's too hot, mate. So, no, you can't please me while I was away. <laughs> Spent more time in Morecambe than any other place to be honest. The weather was horrible. Yeah. Tired. Too tired. Too tired. Too tired. now for nearly 30 years. Uh, we have a range of facilities, so we have the Human Performance Lab, we have um, the Biomechanics Lab, which is also for performance analysis, and we have the Sport Hall and we have the Sport Rehabilitation Clinic and um, the Strength and Conditioning Room. So these are um, all the facilities, including the pitch here that you see, and we have a football pitch on the other side of the campus. Um, and these are all the facilities that the students are using, they learn, so they learn how to use these when they go out into the wider world. We're very fortunately fortunate that we've got some of the um, most up-to-date uh, kit and equipment for the students to use and to learn to use. We use it for research as well, so it's not just for teaching. And um, we've sort of been progressing um, in terms of the courses that we've been providing in line with the um, market so as the sport market changes we change in line with that and we're developing in terms of the new technology that's coming so some of the equipment the octajump that the players have been using today you know that's really sort of up to date and high tech and gives us a lot of really useful data data and information we are an outward facing university and we're an outward facing um, uh, department i mean our our mission is about you know people places and community so we want to be at the heart of the community and we want to do whatever we can to benefit that community so if we have got you know a professional football club we want to help that club to be the best that they can because that is good for the wider community as as Morecambe goes up in the leagues you know that's prestigious for Lancaster and Morecambe as an area and it, it's it's the profile so if we can help and contribute towards that it's really good but then it's really really good for us you know it's a it's a privilege for a club to come to us and want to use our facilities and want to use our expertise it's really good for our students uh, we have students here today um, helping to support the, uh, the players in the tests and it's excellent opportunities for them to learn to to actually you know do some tests on elite athletes you know rather than each other so it's we hope we're benefiting the club and the community but also this is very big for the university as well. Very good. Um, again, as always, lads come in a little bit nervous, a little bit apprehensive about what they're going to face. New lads have come in. Uh, but I thought they've done okay. Physically, the lads look, uh, look good, look in good shape. Um, so, first day, positives at the minute. You've always got to be prepared, always be the best you can be. Uh, and a big message is take ownership of yourself, the staff, uh, the fans, the club can do so much, but ultimately you've got to look after yourself. Take ownership of yourself and that will help you grow. 
which ultimately helps the team grow, which hopefully helps the club grow. So, yeah, look after yourselves, basically. Again, we're just building up fitness levels. Uh, it's getting uh, legs into them, uh, getting a minute into them, getting the uh, distances into them. Uh, and it'll be sharpened up as we go, so the football will be incorporated uh, as part of the, 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 the fitness session. So, uh, yeah, it'll be a good mix back. It's all prepared, all planned, uh, and it'll be a steady build up to the games. It's a, it's a wonderful facility. Cause the, the environment that they're going to work in, you can see now, is, is first class. The staff have been really helpful. So, uh, the lads, are, you know, they, they, they seem happy with what's going on. Again, environment's massive. If you have a good environment to work in, then you're hopefully the work is improving. You know, it's really good of uh, the university to provide these facilities, which is, you know, in itself is, uh, you know, really helps our club. I think the facts are, I think, two minutes, two and a half minutes out of 92 minutes that will play a top player will have the football. The rest is running and moving, so yeah, we make no excuses about players running. And that is, you've still got to incorporate some of the so-called old stuff with, with the ball. So no excuses whatsoever. Players have to cover distances and they covered it. End of story. There's no disguise. Football's majority of it is running and movement. Whatever directional stuff, fine. So you have to replicate that in turn. You have to get the amount of uh, meters and distances that they cover. You have to get them in your training session. So there's no way of disguise it or hiding it. Yeah, you can do a lot with the ball, but you still have to do a lot without the ball as well. So, and again, it's just the mentality. So the biggest thing is the mentality in football is it's so easy to give up when you get a little bit tired physically and then the mind goes, but no, they know they can do it. If they cover distance, fine, then they know they're capable of doing it, the body's capable of doing it, the mind is capable of doing it, and they push themselves and do more. Oh, it's great to be back. Um, looking forward to get down, it's a good break and um, ready to, to rock now. Obviously it was a great feeling for, uh, for the whole club. Uh, you're seeing the place um, after the game as soon. Uh, it was great to stay up and I think this year we want to kick on now and hopefully do better than we did last season. So when you don't see the lads for a while and then everyone comes in the first day so everyone's uh, all giddy and all happy to see each other and that's so, uh, and it's a nice day as well so it's good. You go in and do the hard work and that's what, that's what you've got to get your base, your fitness base and uh, you kick on and that, they will do you good and steadily like, for the season and uh, yeah just work hard and we'll get the rewards hopefully. Everyone's got to work hard and um, stick together and hopefully we'll have a good season and uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it.